and uh, had just an amazing run to the final here. Diego was just too good today, but Matthew really has grown as a player in the last year or so. We get, for those people uh, that don't know, this is a UTR event, and it's a kind of a golf handicap for tennis. And each year we see Matthew's UTR go up, and it's really skyrocketed in the last year. So he's uh, certainly going places, and the fact that he got to the final here uh, this week is uh, certainly an indication of uh, where he's going in tennis, which is certainly up. So Matthew, congratulations, great week. And uh, Diego, we were so excited when we were watching the UTR website with all the, uh, the entries uh, that were coming. And uh, I didn't have your email address, but I saw that you're active on Twitter. So we tagged you on Twitter on our posting for the sign up. And then 30 minutes later, there it is for sign up. Diego Dalgo, sign up for the tournament. We were so excited that you're coming. You were a semi finalist here last year at a tough. We had a tough uh, loss in the semifinals last year, but we're so excited that you came back and a little bit of redemption this year after the disappointing loss in the semifinals and you're taking home the title. So congratulations. So if we could have both of you all come up here for our ceremony and we have uh, Lynn Southerly from the chairman of the Marty Fish Children's Foundation. Get down there. Coming up. Watch your stuff dancing, Queen. And Tom Fish, the President Emeritus of the Marty Fish Children's Foundation. Yes, sir. <laughs> guide her, guide her, like a, like a blind woman. My turn. So we'll uh, start off with Tom Fish, who's the President Emeritus of the Marty Fish Children's Foundation and the father of our namesake, Marty Fish. Yeah! Thank you, Randy. Uh, first, I want to congratulate Diego and Matthew on a fantastic final. That's right. You inspired us and uh, entertained us. It was a great match, and we really enjoyed watching you. Thank you. I think you can stand right there. Oh, yeah. Okay. The reason we are doing this tournament, besides having fun watching tennis, is to help children. All of the profits of this event go to the Marty Fish Children's Foundation, where we work to cultivate in each child a commitment to fitness and nutritional excellence, and to ensure them access to a healthy future and a safe environment after school. There is nothing more important than helping children. Since 2007, we have helped thousands of children and raised over $3 million to run our fitness and health programs. That's thanks to you guys. We have partnered with the Boys and Girls Club, Daisy Hope, Gifford Youth Achievement Center, the Homeless Children's Foundation, the Treasure Coast ba Basketball Academy, Youth Guidance, Sherwood Farms Equestrian Program, and Indian River Golf Association. We want to help more. We hope you will continue to help us help children. I want to... Uh, Thank Mike Raleigh, who started this, this tournament for us. We miss you, Mike. He set us up with a fantastic event that we're all proud of. It's literally one of the best tournaments this size in the world. Thank you, Mike. We miss you. We have made fantastic progress as a foundation. We now have an amazing board that is led by our foundation executive director, Lynn Southerly. Yeah! She has done an amazing job. She's been a game changer for the foundation. That's right. And she works for free. Yeah! Thank you, Lynn. Okay, I'm in the uh, trophy presentation. Okay, we'll have... Uh, Lynn, do you want to say a few words?
I just want to say thank you to everybody for helping make this such a great success. The foundation has really been a great, um, fun time for me. I love that we're helping the children. I love helping the fish family. And I love that it brings fun to the community and we're helping all these kids. So we couldn't do it without all of you. We are so thankful for the Boulevard, for all of our sponsors, for the fans, for everybody that comes out and helps us all week long to make this happen. So thank you, everybody. Okay, now we're going to um, have uh, Matthew Segura come up to the uh, mic, and uh, Lynn is going to, uh, well, why don't we have you say a few words, just, you know, talk about, uh, I mean, what a great run getting to the final, I know Diego was just too tough today, but uh, just a great, and I think this might be your first ever pro paycheck, is that correct? Yeah, that's what he is. <laughs> This is my first time um, winning big money in a futures event. Like, kind of, well, kind of like a, it's really easy to ever feel like a pro tournament future for me, so, yeah, it's cool. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, can you talk about how, what this whole week what meant for you, and, uh, you know, obviously Diego was just too tough. In, in the final, and uh, you know, certainly uh, your great uncle was probably looking down on, on you guys since uh, Diego is, uh, uh, is from Ecuador, where your uh, great uh, uncle was born and raised. I mean, that, that, that was kind of a, a, an ironic little twist there. Yeah, I heard a lot. Um, yeah. Well, obviously, um, congratulations on a great tournament, Diego. Um, also, I'd like to congratulate you for qualifying for the Davis Cup in Madrid. I heard that you're very confident against the Madrid, yeah. so I'm really happy for you guys, for you Ecuadorians, so best of luck next year. Okay, so Lynn has a little hardware for us. Uh, you know, Lynn is a little hardware for you, a little uh, memento of getting to the finals. And she's got your first ever professional check.
Wait. Okay. We'll see you in, in, in six months. Oh, Tom has something to say. Uh, i just like to thank Randy Walker. He has a passion for this event. He is such a very high bar for us to achieve it, and we're grateful. He, he, he loves tennis. He loves this tournament. He's got a lot of time for tennis knowledge and passion. Thank you guys, this is a pleasure to work uh, at this event, and I've worked a lot of Davis Cup and U.S. Opens and so forth, but this is so much more fun and so much more gratifying, so I thank you, Tom, and everybody, so, uh, all right, with six months from now, we'll have another edition of this in April, God willing, so thank you all so much, and we'll see you soon.